Before we do anything in Photoshop, or you could argue any file or any program, you want to make a copy of it. You know, we never really want to mess up our original, because if we do something really kind of goofy or permanent, uh, you know, we're kind of out, out of luck. So, a good first practice is to make a working file of something first. Now here, I've got this image of a Cal State Fullerton Environmental Studies graduate class on a field course, two-week trip up in the Sierras where they did a lot of stuff up in the mountains. It was really a cool trip. Um, they're, well, they're wandering around, and this is a picture from that. This is above Thousand Island Lake in, up above Mammoth. Now, this picture works really well for our exercises. Uh, because we have snow, and snow is white, generally. We've got blue sky, which is, well, sky. We have mountains, and we have a lot of shadow here. And so this works well for our Photoshop demos and our initial work-alongs. Uh, nonetheless, we don't want to mess with this original. So what we want to do is make a copy of it first. And to make a copy of it, it's pretty much like any other document. We go up to File and Save As. We choose Save As, and I have the title here, Sun Cups. Now I'm going to add space working files, or working file to that, and I'm going to just make sure I'm saving it in the right place. So I'll put it here in my PS Lab 1 folder. You can put it in any folder you want as long as you know where it is. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll go ahead and click Save. I'm going to click on my JPEG options. I'm going to leave this at maximum for now. We talk a lot about JPEGs in a later video. I'm going to click OK, and now I can see up here in my top left, my tab says Suncup's working file. So now I know that this is my working file, and I am good to go to do crazy, silly things, really good, important things, do whatever I want and know that I still have my original in case I want to go back in history and pretend like it never happened. All right, next video. Oh, by the way, in our next video, you're gonna to wanna to have some paper out, you're gonna to wanna to take some notes. There's a lot of information in this one. It's levels, curves, and brightness contrast. There's a lot to talk about there, and it's kind of long, so hang in there, and listen particularly to the why we do it as opposed to just, hey, here's how you do it. Okay, see you there.